Good morning, and thank you for joining us this morning. Today is Sunday, August the 18th, 2024, and it is the 13th Sunday after Pentecost. My name is Nicole Grieve, and I'm the parish administrator at St. Bart Sarnia and St. Paul's Point Edward. We're so glad you've joined us this morning. So let us now take a moment to quiet our hearts and quiet our minds for worship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. We thank you, O God, that you have again brought us together on the Lord's Day to praise you for your goodness and to ask your blessing. Give us grace to see your hand in the week that has passed, and your purpose in the week to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, as we turn our hearts and minds to worship Almighty God, let us confess our sins. 
most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Merciful God, grant to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and sent into our hearts the spirit of your Son. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that all people may know the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Then David slept with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. The time that David re reigned over Israel was 40 years. He reigned seven years in Hebron and 33 years in Jerusalem. So Solomon sat on the throne of his father David and his kingdom was firmly, firmly established. Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statues of his father David, only he sacrificed and offered incense at the high places. The king went to Gideon to sacrifice there, for that was the principal high place. Solomon used to offer a thousand burnt offerings on the altar. At Gideon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I should give you. And Solomon said, You have shown great and steadfast love to your servant, my father David, because he walked before you in faithfulness, in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart towards you. And you have kept for him this great and steadfast love, and has given him a son to sit on his throne today. And now, O Lord my God, you have made my servant king in place of my father, David, although I am only a little child, I do not know how to go out or come in, and your servant is in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a great people, so numerous they cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people, able to discern between good and evil, for who can govern this your great people. It pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this. God said to him, because you have asked this and have not asked for yourself long life or riches or for the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right, I now do according to your word. Indeed, I give you a wise and discerning, discerning mind. No one like you has been before you and no one like you shall arise after you i give you also what you have not asked both riches and honor all your life no other king shall compare with you if you will walk in my ways keeping my statutes and my commandments as your father david walked then i will lengthen your life listen for the leading of the spirit thanks be to god Psalm 111. Hallelujah! I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, in the assembly of the upright in the congregation. Great are the deeds of the Lord. They are studied by all who delight in them. O Lord, your work is full of majesty and splendor, and your righteousness endures forever. You make your marvelous works to be number remembered. 
and are gracious and full of compassion. You give food to those who fear you. You are ever mindful of your covenant. You have shown your people the power of your works in giving them the lands of the nations. The works of your hands are faithfulness and justice. All your commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever because they are done in truth and equity. You send redemption to your people. You commanded your covenant forever, holy and awesome in your name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Those who act accordingly have a good understanding. The praise of the Lord endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. So do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves singing and making melody to the Lord in your heart, giving thanks to God the Father at all times and for everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen for the leading of the Spirit. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to the people, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us confess our faith as we say, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, we desire to serve you in sincerity and faithfulness. Hear the prayers of your people and strengthen us for the work you have given us to do, as we say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Remember your holy church that it might always be strong in the Lord and the strength of your power. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. 
guide our civic and political leaders that they might make decisions and craft policies that benefit all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Inspire the people of our local community that this might be a place where people thrive and live in peace and neighborly goodwill. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Touch the hearts of those who seek you and guide them here that they might encounter the living Christ among us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant us wisdom in our use of natural resources that we might bequeath to our children and grandchildren a sustainable and abundant world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in our community. And here we invite your own prayers, either offered aloud or in the silence of your heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We trust in your care of those who have died. Guide us so that our faith journeys might take us into your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, to who can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Embolden and empower us to be vessels of your grace. And all these we ask through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless us and keep us. May God's face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May God lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.
May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>